Hey guys, welcome back to some more Secrets of Grindia. So, I kind of somewhat swapped my build back to how it was before, um, back to my melee build, but I got rid of certain elements, and I took over some elements from the, uh, from my arcade mode build, because this shield seems overpowered. So we're going to try this again. The worst news is last night I popped this game up on story mode and I, you know, I farmed out some cards. I also did some crafting. So as you can see, I now have a laser sword. But anyways, I, I went to show uh, Chucky how tough this boss was and I almost beat it on my first try. Well, I was going to beat it on my first try, but then I killed my, my character off because I was like, I can't do this off video. So... First try off camera. I uh, basically. Oh my god. Yeah. I, I was going to do it. So I hope I get it quickly today. But as you can see, we got a bunch of new abilities. Okay. Wish me luck. Fuck. Oh my god, it's going terribly. Okay. Oh my god, this is going horribly. Okay. I'm just out of practice. I don't I don't have access to my thing. God damn it. Come on. There we go. We got it. First try. Fuck yes. Holy shit. Talk to Mimi. We didn't even play that well. But here's the deal. Oh, I should invest in another skill. Do I have any skill points? I don't. Um, yeah, I, I completely respect. There is another skill I want to start investing in that's really good. Hmm. Okay. Oh my god, what's up? You did it! You got rid of the slime! That wasn't just a slime. It was a furious giga slime. The furious giga slime isn't a slime. I don't know what is. Sure, but... Ugh, never mind. Just give us the reward. Reward? Come on. You killed a slime. I'm sure you learned something. Isn't that reward enough? R what? Well, at least we got a red slime cube from the boss. Maybe we can make something useful with it. Ooh, we got a talent orb. Okay. What have I been investing in lately? Uh... Oh, I can apply a point to that. Is there anything else I've been investing in? Let's see. I might want to get some um, EP regen, to be totally honest. Okay. Hey, what's up? 
There are more servants than masters working here, but servants have to eat too. So I have my... Okay, we, we already read that yesterday. All right. This is a large place. Please behave in here. And don't make a mess. If you plan to visit Master Mladimir... Okay, that's an interesting name. Don't forget your manners. Hmm, you became a collector at the same time as Marino, didn't you? Our rival, huh? Marino's, perhaps, not mine. You seem strong, kid, and you keep your mouth shut. Two qualities I like in a hard worker. Spoken like a true businessman. A fool who, makes, who mistakes money for power, an adventure for work. There are no mistakes in those comparisons. The power of collectors will fade in time, you'll see. Aren't you a collector yourself? Oh, I sure am. And I shall make sure all my descendants will be. As well. After all, the status is beneficial to my business. This does not change the fact that my power lies in my wealth, not the blue uniform in my closet. Now scram, brat. Time is money, and you're not making us any. I have nothing to offer you at this moment, but I have a feeling that will change one day. There's something I want to learn how to do. I... You can kind of turn around, but I don't know if it's only if you're charging it. It's awkward to do in actual battle. I love to clean this room. Uh, I love to clean this room. The plants are so beautiful. It's strange to me that someone as stern as Master Mladimir has such deft and gentle hands with plants. And you want to hear something crazy? If you watch my uh, my last arcade video, I got to right to the end of floor ten, and uh, and then the, I basically got locked in the room. It glitched out. Well, my I did one run after that, and I got past that same point, beat that floor ten boss. It was also a challenge run, um, where I was like handicapped to not get bonuses. And then I beat that boss, and then afterwards I put you into another boss fight, and that boss fight did an attack, it hit the whole arena and one-shot me. So, that was interesting. It's been a good year. So, we're giving more to the charities than usual. I wonder if we might find some new uh, cause to support. Okay, I think we're done here. We also have to give an item back to... Uh... Oh, I haven't killed these guys! I need to get a card from them. Shit, I totally missed that. Oh, I need to farm these guys tonight. Oh, I wonder if this guy has anything new for us. Enjoy the new bow. I'll always be on the lookout for new ways to spice up the bow, so check back later, alright? Sounds good. Ah. Hey, what do you have to say? Hey again, my great uncle told me to send you to him. If I saw you in town, he's in a bind, and he hopes you can be of help. So, head on inside the potion shop. I'm sure there's a reward in it for you. Is this going to be a second potion slot? Ah, uh, you came back, and at just the right time, the most disa disastrous of accidents has... Hold up, who is this kid? Where is that dusty antique who ran the shop before? I was just about to tell you about it. The most disastrous of accidents. During a terrible fit of hiccups, I decided to make a serum. But the serum didn't stop curing my hiccups. Didn't stop it curing my hiccups. It also reduced me to this embarrassing form you see before you. As much as I'm ashamed to admit it, I am Remedy, the same master alchemist that gave you the bottle before. The only thing that has changed for the... Uh, the only thing that has changed for the worse, I'm sad to say, is my appearance. Wait, so you accidentally made an elixir of youth and you're upset about it? Most old people would pay through the nose for that stuff. But uh, what utter nonsense. Who in the right mind would ever wish to trade the look of a proud wisdom for this? I look just like my nephew. Every well-earned wrinkle erased, gone, stolen from me. Besides, even if there was someone stupid enough to want a potion, it was an accident I don't know how to replicate. Perhaps... I put in a cat claw instead of a rat claw. It's an easy mistake to make. And I'm proud to say I used to be I used to be blind as a bat, right? 
So what do you need us for? Since the transformation, I've been researching furiously to find a cure for my predicament. And I believe the answer lies in the mysterious fauna of the pumpkin woods. If I could collect some samples from the strange things found there, I'm positive I could create the potion I need. For me to go by myself would be inconceivable, however. Uh, I'm a man of the mind, not muscle. My proposition, therefore, is this. In exchange for another potion flask, I will rent you... Uh, I wish to rent your brawn for a bit. You'll have to fend off any danger as I concentrate on my research. Make your way to the pumpkin woods. I'll meet you at the entrance. Remini has heard rumors of curious plants in the pumpkin woods, and it's too dangerous for him to go alone. Meet him there and escort him while he's taking samples. Okay. That's easy peasy. I should check all these stores in a bit. Ooh, I should talk to that person too. My, you've certainly outdone yourself clearing a temple on your first assignment. An ancient artifact, you say? That sounds like something for your father to have a look at. At my age, it's tough business. Walking up these stairs. Could you bring it to him yourself? He's working in the lab. To the right on the top floor. All right. Amazing. Many collectors live their entire uh, through entire careers without finding an artifact such as this. I'm proud of you, both as a father and as a collector. You've got all the talent of your mother. Credit where credit's due, old man. Don't forget the one pulling the strings. Though I will say the kid did rather well. For a shrimp like him, anyway. Of course. Thank you for looking after my son, old friend. With your... With your mentoring, I'm confident he will reach his full potential. Mentoring? You bring shame to your kin, you treacherous pouch. What kind of artifact would befriend a mortal? Your weakness disgusts me. And yet here we are, Amulet. You're on a trophy stand and I'm not. I hope your dignity gives you comfort as you rust away in this place while I'm out there finding more artifacts to betray. My lady, please. You cannot go in there without permission. Collector assignments must go through the proper channels. But I've already tried the proper channels, and you won't listen to me. If the Guildmaster doesn't want to help us, she can't tell it. Uh, she can tell it to my sparkling green face. Sparkling green face, hmm. Come on, let's go see what all this commotion is about. I understand your frustration. My lady, but I would highly advise against disturbing the master. Master Schmaster, I'm not afraid of some silly shut-in. Open that door, or I'll open it myself. Don't be rash, you're clearly in the disadvantage here. Let's all just calm down and be civil. Stupid stubborn humans. Uh, goodbye, giant door. I wish it hadn't come down to this. What are you... Oh, dear. It's her, just as I suspected. This might actually be great news. Come on, sport, let's go. Oh man, someone's gonna be in bad trouble for this. Haha, uh, I like that fairy style. I've never ever seen the Guildmaster, but from what I hear, she's not someone you cross. I don't think that Faye knows what she's getting herself into. Maybe we should go make sure she's alright. Is this dude gonna be important at some point? Hmm. Wouldn't want to be one of those guards right now. The Guildmaster isn't known for mercy and failure. Calm down, John. It's okay. You all look alike. Just blame it on one of those other guards. Oh, boy. There goes my salary. Jeepers, this place is so creepy. What? I can't be phased. Stick to your guns, Neneva. Hey, lady. I've got business with you. Quit staring out the window and look me in the face. And to think I turned down a bug spray salesman last week. Quentin, would you be so kind as to bring me the fly swatter? It's right there on the table to the far left. No, wait, I'm not a bug, I'm a... I know what you are, you imbecile. You're a nosy little fay, and more importantly, a trespasser on our lands. Tell me, ladybug, why have you crawled out of your secret little city to come here? Because the artifact in the Temple of Season suddenly woke up, and it made the Winter Elder go completely bonkers. He took the artifact for himself, 
And now he's stronger than ever, destroying anyone who oppose him. The other elders would sooner die than ask for outside help, but how could I possibly put pride before the lives of my friends? Please, Grandmaster, you have to help us. You fairies could go extinct and no one in Evergrind would even notice. Why exactly do I have to help you? Because the artifact that's destroying us was made by humans. Now, now, that's quite the accusation, little one. The Fae only craft with nature, sticks, leaves, and sometimes stones. The artifact was crafted entirely from rare metals. Who but humans could have made it? I won't send people into danger based on the conjecture of a moth. Guards, put that miscreant in a bottle and send her back to where she belongs. Ivy, wait. Hmm? Isn't it the duty of a collector to find rare and valuable items that ordinary people cannot obtain? The Temple of Seasons must have great amounts of valuable treasure, not to mention the ancient artifact itself. How can we stand idly by and let this chance slip past us? Whether in the hands of Fae or in the rubble of their city, the artifacts will survive. We do not have any high-ranking collectors to spare for the mission. When we do, we'll bring what we can from the ruins. Jeez, who is she, the devil? My wife, Charlotte, often visited the Fae when she was young. She loved it th there to honor her memory. I'd like to take this mission on myself. All the manpower I need is my own son. A cripple and his kid. <laughs> Fine. I hand this problem over to you. Whether you fail or succeed, make sure that annoying fairy stays where she belongs. Thank you, Grandmaster. Okay, she seems like a delightful person. Your wife's name is Charlotte. Hey, that means you're... It's a pleasure to actually meet you, Spring Elder Neneva. I've heard much about you. Yes, that's all very interesting. In fact, how should I put this? Get out of my office. Now! Apologies, Grandmaster. We'll continue this discussion outside. I'm just glad nobody got hurt. Seems we caught Ivy in a good mood today. I want all that shit. Hey, what's up? Why are you still here? Boop. Ooh, that was, that was, that was so scary. Why do you humans have a leader like her? I thought I was a goner for sure. <laughs> she can be quite intimidating at times. But as a strong leader, you must be that kind of person, I guess. I wonder if this dude that just walked in is going to be the father of that Morgan guy. We got what we wanted, and that's what matters. Time is of the essence. Let's make haste. Or mother, I should say. Chief, I'm getting the most of Miraculous readings in the lab. I think I'm on the cusp of a great breakthrough, and I really need you to take a look. Can't be helped then. I'm not much use in the field with only one arm anyway. I'm sorry, Neneva, but could you accompany my son to Santa Fe? Of course I would. We Fay believe children inherit their parents' spirits. It'd be like hanging out with Charlotte again. <laughs> I'm glad you feel that way. Oh, is this... Is this person's name supposed to be somewhat referential to Navi? I'll be the best sidekick you could ever ask for. So, yeah, no, this is absolutely not gonna happen. Oh, Drats, he already has a sidekick. Wait, what did you just call me? Beg, please. She might not be your cup of tea to be around. But, we need her help. The way to send a fae and the artifact is sealed shut by fairy magic. You can probably guess whom here can use that. Teehee, it's me. All right, kid, here's the deal. We go to season, find the secret entrance, have the butterfly cast her spell, and then we leave her. The faster we do all this, the less likely it is I'll throw myself in a fire. Cheer up, you grouchy pouchy. You and I will make the best sidekick team ever. Just kill me now. He disappeared. Oh, well. See you soon, Mr. Husband of Charlotte. We're off to save the day. Please be careful, Spring Elder. I'll keep busy in the lab uh, while I wait your return. Okay, kid. I'm a pretty good adventurer myself, so I'll be sure to give you some pointers. Flash that smile and let's go. The Elder Fay of Winter has run amok, and the Spring Elder Neneva has sought your help. You must go to Cizone, uh, to the west of Evergrande City and find the entrance to Santa Fe. According to Neneva, the entrance to the city can be found in the far west, hidden by powerful fairy magic. Okay, can I talk to her? Hmm.
I thought someone said something about talking to these guys. Hmm. Okay, nothing here. You're up to the Winterlands to help the Fae. Awesome. I'm thinking of going there to farm some cards I want. Maybe I'll see you there. Can I go in? No. Okay. I'm giving you fa fantastic hints. Amazing. Hey, what's up? When you see that, hey, listen, window, Naniva is trying to rub off some of her stupidity on you. Just ignore her. Maybe she will shut up and fly into a light or something. Okay, it is a Navi reference for sure. Ah, oh, fellow collector. Oh, hang on a second. Hey, you don't have to be so mean. I have feelers too, you know. No, wait. I mean feelings, not feelers. Oh, drats. Oh, God. What's that? I didn't hear you over the sound of me ignoring you completely. Let's go, kid. Ah, fellow collector. How oh, excellent. Please, stay a while and listen. Stay a while and listen. My amazing proposition. We at Collectatech are currently test in the testing phase of a fantastic technological breakthrough in the housing systems. Oh, we're going to get a player house. The secrets of constructing buildings that appear larger inside than outside are ancient and can be seen all around us. However, this new technology of ours, the ultra-dimensional house, or U-House for short, blows that out of the water. It's all an adaptation of the physics of bottomless bags, but on a much larger scale. In theory, a house that seems regularly sized on the outside could become as big as an entire city inside. Now, with this technology being rather new, there are of course risks, and so we only offer this deal to collectors. Personally, I think the risks are exaggerated. I mean, a dimensional collapse could happen, but it probably won't. Talk to Carpenter if you're interested. Act now and receive a 95% discount uh, in the name of science. Hey, what's up, dude? So Kim explained the details, did she? Are you interested? Yikes, you collectors are a brave bunch. Well, that's all well and good, but buildings this... But building this thing won't come cheap. I expect it will cost at least 3000 How about it? Yes. Yikes, rich and crazy, this kid. Seeing how expensive it was, I've thrown in some basic furniture with the deal. It'd be quite sad to spend that much money and end up with an empty house, no? <laughs> well, I better, better get to work. I'm a pretty fast worker, if I do say so myself. I expect I'll be finished by the time it takes you to uh, take a stroll outside of the city. Okay. We did build a piece of furniture through the crafting menu. What? Using skill costs energy points. This isn't... Oh, my God. I'd love to help them out, but these things are like ten times my size. Okay, I have a feeling we're going to get a lot of... Um, Naniva being annoying as a meme. This isn't... Oh, okay, they're making fun of Zelda being handholdy. All right. You do realize that we've been doing this for a while before we met up with you, right? Shut up. There we go. What's that? I'm afraid I don't speak grumpy, teehee. I sure got him this time. It's funny because this game only released recently, but it's been in like an early access state forever, right? So, if you type shut up in chat, you can disable almost all of Naniva's jabbering. What are you waiting for? Uh, so, I'm sure that when that reference was put in, that was probably a lot more relevant than it is now. Okay, where's the dude we need to talk to? Stop covering my screen! Oh my god. Where's the dude? Have we passed him already? There we 
There we go. Hmm. Yeah, the mushroom. Okay, let's, uh... Oh, we have a talent point I didn't spend. Okay. Here we go. Okay, where is this dude? He's probably at the entrance. I probably missed him, but let's go down here for now. Hmm. Oh yeah, as an accessory, I'm using that weird, like, mysterious dice thing that I got. And what it does is it makes it so when I do basic uh, attacks, I have a chance to do, like, some random effect. Which is kind of interesting. Okay, where is this dude? Wait, have I been in here? Oh, I must have been in here, because I see the cave is open. Did we we completed this girl's quest, right? I'm sure we did. Got all I need for now, honey. Huh. All right. There you go. Okay, I'm sure we we probably uh, passed this guy right at the beginning. Oh my god, I did. I, he was right at the entrance. Oh my god. I was probably just distracted by whatever she was saying. Ooh, can I grow that? I need to get more of that grow stuff. Hmm. go <clears throat> okay protect him by the lake it said No! Okay. It healed him back up to full. Let's go! Okay, this place is going to be a lot more awkward to help him. You fucker. Chain lightning would make this way better. No! Oh! We have an effect on us from our random dice thing. Okay, let's head back.
And you get there by yourself. Okay, let's go back to town. Ah, you're back, and just in time to witness my glorious triumph over the shackles of youth. Cheers, my friends. To old age, the sweet arthritis. Uh-oh. Uh, well, we held a bar into the bargain. Let's take the bottle and get out of here, kid. Okay. Hey. I want, uh, I want to equip... Uh, where is it? There we go. We want that one. Anything new in any of these places? No. Oops. Hmm. Okay. All right. <clears throat> I feel like the uh, decision to make a deliberately annoying character as a reference is uh it's definitely a choice. Oh, oh, do you guys... Oh, do you have new things for me? Oh, I forgot about these treasure maps. Okay, let's see. What have we not... Huh. Where is that? So these are ones we've done. Hmm. Ding dong, ding dong. It's a toy factory song, a present for me near the doled up tree buried for long for no one to see. Okay. Okay, this is our new house, right? Oh, we can buy furniture and stuff. Weird. Welcome home. You can start decorating right away by moving inside and pressing RB. Get more furniture. Visit the carpenter. It will have more furniture unlocked. The further you've made it throughout the game, the carpenter will also be able to sell you some quantum lumber, which you can use to expand your house. Remember, okay. Here, let's try something. Okay. How do you expand the house? Oh, interesting. There we go. Nailed it. Okay, now we can have a big empty room. How does this work? Oh!
Let's see. How do I how do I not do it in this room? Wait, I want to try something. <laughs> we can make a house that makes just no sense at all. Okay. Weird. Okay. Well, let's be real. All right. Does it... It depends on which room I'm in, I'm guessing. Okay, this is interesting. This is my mushroom corner. This is my book corner. Okay. This is where I burn my books. That's my, uh... Oh, God. Wait, what... What is this? Ah. Uh, oops. Okay, so we need to buy some of that stuff. Where do I move this shit? Oh, there we go. Amazing. Okay. All right. Cool, you can put it on the table, that's neat. And anything I've missed. Oh, these are some things I've... Oh, nice. Fuck yeah. Okay. Hang on a second. Can't rotate it. All right. Perfect house. It's beautiful. Okay, we have a house. We will never go in there again. It seems weird. I mean, I'm not complaining, but it seems odd to have, like, a, uh, such an in-depth house building system in, like, a relatively small single-player, well, I know it's also multiplayer, but RPG, you know? 
Okay. Oh, oh, have all the green slimes leveled up to red slimes now? I guess not. Don't you just love ancient remnants like this? So much mystery and uh, such air of shrouded importance. The stone played here, but the faded text makes me believe it used to be some kind of memorial. I so wonder what great person or event it stood for. For some reason, I thought they had a quest earlier. Okay. Hmm. What's up, dude? Howdy, Junior. Name's Clint Westwood. I'm hired to work Farmer Oak's fields. It takes a real man to plow these fields. Let me tell you, not that you would know anything about the strength it takes. Though, the weather's been mighty odd lately. Should still be summer and all. But, it's cold like uh, it's autumn already. So, I, I really like Secrets of Grind Grindia. I think there's a lot of things really well. There's a lot of interesting things. But, uh, I feel like this is... I feel like it's one of the prime examples of, like, feature creep the game. You can just see how many elements are, like... They're like, oh, let's make, like, a Zelda-like game. Uh, but you know what? Let's have multiplayer. Uh, but you know what? Let's have, um, let's have a roguelike mode. Let's have a housing system. Let's have a card collecting system. Let's have a pet system. Like, you can, uh, let's have a crafting system. There's so many just added layers of, like, features that you, it makes you understand why it, like, took over a decade to make. There's just so many different things put into it. Do we need to gather these chickens? Lo, I see you're a collector. Man, I'm so envious. I'm being forced to take care of these chickens all day long, and now one of them seems to have gotten lost. Could you find her for me? I can't leave her. These chicks will starve. Chica, at the farm in Western Evergrande Fields, is missing one of her chickens. You might be in trouble. Find it and save it and bring it back to the farm. The only thing that, um... There are a couple things about this game that I don't know about. Like, one is, um... Why the chicken cross the road? Why, Nanavi? Naniva? I guess someone whacked it. Uh, one is, I feel like there's just too many references to other things. Like, too many non-Easter egg references. Like, oh, a main boss being Gundam or whatever. Oh, called me over to take care of uh, pets here at the farm. But not much to take care of right now. I also feel like the game is surprisingly difficult. Um, although the roguelite mode has gotten a lot easier. Now that I've unlocked the, that those um, guys that if you kill fast enough, you get like random pins. The roguelike mode's gotten way easier. Hey there, kid. I'm, lo I'm looking glum, you say? Well, you might be right. I just built a pasture for the farm, but what's the point when there's no animals in it? Hmm, maybe you could fix that. Tell you what, I'm going to give you a bait item for catching a pet rabby. If you use it, uh, this on uh, this here golden carrot near a rabby, you will lure it to you when it's close enough You'll have to convince it that you're a worthy master. That is achieved by doing the right thing at the right time. Yeah, you'll see what I mean. Off you go. Okay. Um, item. What was the item we got? Golden carrot. Oh, it's already it's already equipped. Hmm. How do I get that guy? Ah. Uh. Is there a way to bomb it?
Okay, we got a pet. Okay, do you want to switch your pet now? Yeah, let's let's do it. Okay, now let me go back to him. You got yourself a rabbi, I see. I can already tell uh, you're no city wuss. Let's go for something more difficult this time. Take this juicy apple. With it, you'll be able to catch a slime. They're quite a slippery bunch. Okay, how, I need to switch out my pet. Firstly, obviously, obviously I need to be sinny. Okay, swap pet. Okay, I guess it only works on green slimes. Thankfully, we know where one is. The fuck? Fucking goddamn! Oh, we caught it. Oh, we made one mistake. The bee I caught was it was a lot harder to catch than both of those guys. I see you caught yourself a slime as well. I can tell you're an animal person. So, let me tell you about feeding your pets. Tame pets are not used for fighting, even by collectors, because letting them be aggressive would turn them into back into monsters. Pets are still great to have around in fights because of the boost in morale, giving you all kinds of bonuses. Depending on what you feed your pet, it will inspire you in different ways and make you stronger. You can feed all kinds of things to your pets, but if you ever run out of food, talk to me and I'll get you some. To feed your pet, open up the menu. Uh, all right. Let's see. Let's try this out. There we go. Damage is up. Okay. So I wonder. Hypothetically. Pet. Let's go swap pet. Let's get Cinny. Let's... You know what? First things first. Cinny needs to be... Is Cinnabunny white? I think Cinnabunny is a white thing. Okay. Bye. Let's try something. God damn. Not worth. Not worth. Okay. That's going to be way too expensive. I thought because it was a lower level, it might go up faster. Okay, so we can see that chicken... How can we get to it? She can sell the final switch. Could you please? I know where it is. Oh, I bet you I get it. I bet you it's not a bomb. I bet you it's a boar. There we go. Oh, hey, guy. I accidentally froze you. Please wake up. This is a frozen-ass chicken. Okay. Hello. 
Thank you so much for bringing her home. I'm really envious of you being able to help people at any time. Nice. Okay. We're going with more EP regen. All right, new place. How do we get up there? Are you a baddie? Are you a nothing? Hmm. Hmm. All right. Toilon, child, collect and grow stronger. The goddess watches, the goddess rewards. All right. What's up, dude? I didn't think I'd be shoveling snow all summer. What's up with this weather? Okay, Lord and the King, book th the summoning book three. Low dash straight through a jumpkin with his new iron sword. This place is awesome. Rose wanted to disagree, but something in the wind captured her attention. She put a finger over her mouth and low looked at her, puzzled. Voices, the girl mouthed, and beckoned her companion to follow her deeper into the pumpkin woods. In a clearing, a lantern jack was circling a scarecrow, talking eagerly as it went. Evergrind City will be rubble, you'll see. I'm headed to the boss right now, and then we'll attack. Sounds like a blast. I'll join you, the Scarecrow said. And they both disappeared into the small opening in the foliage. Ah, oh, crud, hissed Low. That sounded ultra-mega bad, Rose. We gotta get back to Ma Questmaster Ulf quicker than a piercing dash. The girl thought for a moment, then shook her head. No, let's use the element of surprise and nip this thing in the bud. Low stared at her, mouth agape. You want us, too, to fight a boss? His grin returned, bigger than ever. I'm in. After a long, scratchy trip through the, uh, the shrubbery, they found another clearing. On one side of it, the tall walls of Evergrande City rose high into the sky. Four lantern jacks were slowly pushing a cart filled with, ro filled with Rose gasped silently. Bombs! First we blow apart the wall, and we'll run over the city. Uh, said a big scarecrow with a pumpkin head. The pumpkin, Low whispered. Low and Rose jumped out of hiding and quickly managed to deal with the weaker enemies, and only the pump king was left. You can't run from me, he shrieked, and was about to jump, but he couldn't because Rose had a summoned, had summoned plants to hold him down into the ground. Curse you collectors, and curse Lord Flu who told us this plan was foolproof. Lord Flu, Rose asked, is that your master? Tell us more and we might let you go. All right, said the pump king. The plan is a bust. I might as well tell you exactly who the old bast Get down, yelled Low, and jumped towards Rose. A giant meteor landed straight on the bombs and blew both the cart and the pumpkin, pumpkin into smithereens. A strange figure clad in black, wearing a hood over his face, stood silently among the trees. He turned and disappeared completely into the thick woods. You all right? Low asked Rose, who was lying beneath him, groaning. She coughed. Yeah, who was that hooded fella? No idea. Low patted soot and dust from his poncho. But I think we'd better get back to Questmaster Ulf. Moving up from Evergrind to the shack was bad enough, but now I have to wade through snow to get to school. Our dad used to have a booming business, but that changed and we ended up here. Nicodemus has been whining ever since, but I can't wait to graduate so I can help out at home. Poor Nicodemus. This will be the worst birthday he's ever had. I was going to buy a couple of nice turkeys to cook, but it was way more expensive than I remember from last year. I couldn't afford a single one, let alone two. I hate to ask, but you could somehow find a couple turkeys in your travels. Could I have them? I think I have them. Nicodemus in season. Has his birthday any day now. His mother has asked you to find a couple turkeys for his birthday dinner. He's not sure it, uh, where you can find those, but it's probably from some large bird, right? Maybe I fed it to my pet, though. Oh, dear, you found the turkey. My son's birthday is saved now. 
I was going to give those rollerblades to Nicodemus. But how is he going to use them in this kind of climate? Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. All right. I've seen these guys in roguelike mode. What's up, Santa? Oh, my back won't be jolly about this one. Hey, you. You look young and lively. And a collector to boot. Maybe you could give old Santa a hand. I was riding through the woods, minding my own business. But a big naughty frostling jumped out and knocked my sled over. Worst of all, he stole some of my valuable presents from my bag. I need them back, or else the missus is going to give me an earful. I've seen that frostling before, and I'm pretty sure that he has a secret hideout somewhere east of my toy factory. An exceptionally strong frostling has robbed Santa of several expensive presents, and he wants you to get them back. Santa said the frostling is a secret lair somewhere in the northern season, east of the toy factory. Okay. I have a feeling this card is going to be easy to farm, seeing as there's so many of them right there. What's going on up here? Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if there's a way down there. Ooh, new fishing spot. Hey, what's up? I'm here to do some fishing, I Gold, as I've never heard. But you can catch some real crazy kinds of fish in this type of weather. Fish stick. Okay, amazing. All right. Okay, I'll deal with this later. Okay. Ow. Nice. Is that the toy factory? Well, this looks crazy. All right. What is this? Aha, customer. No, dang it. Maybe renting a place all the way out in season wasn't such, so smart after all. I wonder how Sis is doing over there in the pumpkin woods. Oh. All right, we're here. Now I just have to use my fairy magic to open the path. Get ready to be impressed. Aha, looks like I might have to have used a bit too much of my magic to open that door. Pretty much all out right now. The Fae turned out to be useless. No way, I can't believe it. That's like the biggest plot twist in the history of plots. I know, right? This is so unlike me. Whoa, seems like I made a good impression for a change. 
You truly are immune to sarcasm, aren't you? Oh, well. Come on, kid. I'm sure the carpenter in town has an axe for these trees. An axe? Wait a minute. There's no need to go homicidal here. I just need some essence of spring and I'll be as good as new. Santa always has some stocked up. He and Mrs. Claus live next to the toy factory up north. All right, fine. That's closer. Anyway, let's pay the old man a visit. Okay. Wait, there's two options here? Um... I'm a little confused as fuck. Hang on a second. Okay, let, let's just fucking... Okay. Let's start out with the first one. Uh, you know what? Let's start out with the first one. Oops, what the fuck? Okay. This is going to be a mistake. I think that's a mistake, right? That is a mistake. I don't understand. What? Two, three, four, five, one. I don't understand. What? I don't understand this at all. Oh well, whatever. Guess we're not solving that one yet. Oh, I. F Oh, there we go. Holy shit. Okay, let's go down for now. <clears throat> okay. So...
Hang on a second. All right. Okay. This is pretty straightforward now. Okay. This should be easy as pie now. There's one. Beautiful. A Christmas tree? Okay, that's probably for the house. Luxurious gift band. No clue what that is. I used to look up to Sum Sum as the best puzzle designer in the whole world, but now I see he's just a fool like the rest of them. I tried to explain what, that those other numbers just made his math problems messy and annoying, but he wouldn't listen. In the end, I couldn't work with such a bigot. I went north to find my own caves and make my mark as the greatest puzzle designer in the world. It's a bit lonely, but I carved the holy number into the wall and whisper... Sweet things while I fall asleep. Holy number. The numbers weep. And I'm old and frail. The world wasn't ready. No one came. I'm all alone. I failed. If someone finds my body or bones, please bury them by the grave I've prepared outside. This puzzle doesn't work with only one parameter, he said. The narrow-minded fool, if only he could see me now. If people want extra math homework, they can go to Sum Sum. But if they want pure, brilliant, magnificent fun, then they can come to me, Dabby, the master of the holy number. The numbers sing now, loud and clear. People will flock to my cave and pray at my altar. I'm so excited. I've started out as a maker of puzzles, but now I've become a holy man. I will show the entire world the glory of the one true number. There we go. Oh, interesting. No, I'll pass. Where's his body? I want to bury him. Hmm. Huh. Weird. Okay, was there anything down here? Hmm. Okay. So, I saw there was another place we could peer into. Wait, what's a Frostling? The Frostling. Oh, okay. Where did I come from? Hmm. We've been here. All right. Hey there, Miss Claus. You don't happen to have any essence of Springlang around, do you? Sure, got tons of this stuff. What of it? 
Yay, that's awesome. I'm all out of juice and totally in need of a pick-me-up. Yeah, that figures. Some spoiled lazy punks coming to Santa's place. To blame for a fool, I've heard of that story before. What? I had never... Shut your cake hole, sister. My husband might be a pushover. But you won't be raiding my pantry so easily. As if I haven't got enough on my plate. With my husband missing in that Frostling gang pestering the toy factory. Frostlings? Hey, my friend here is a collector. He could help you out, I bet. Is that so? Well, all right. Chase those pets, pests out of my factory and you'll get the essence of spring. Huzzah! You hear that? Now that sounds like a quest if I ever heard one. Tee hee. Mrs. Claus in the northern season wants you to chase out the Frostlings, causing trouble in the toy factory. Seriously, though. It's a toy factory. How dangerous could it be? It's not like they're making bombs or anything. Uh, spoiler? Hmm. Is that your friend from the exams, George, or whatever he's called? Found one. Hmm, that's my 100th. That means a card for sure. Nothing? Seriously? How many of those things must I whack before I get a card? Hey, girls. Here to farm some winter stuff as well? Trouble in the toy factory, huh? Hey, we haven't hung out for a while. How about we go wrecking the factory together? I, I'll take that as a yes. I've been hunting yetis for hours. Crossling bashing sounds like a nice break. I'll go ahead. Better come quickly if you don't want to lose out on the experience. Smash, crush, wreck. That buddy of yours seems incredibly keen on destroying stuff. Not that I mind having him do our work for us. Heck, with some luck, he'll trash the entire toy factory. Let's go, kid. All right. Dang, this guy just damaged. He's way better than us. What sorcery is this? How did that door close? Are you daft? The door is obviously controlled by a button over there. And they broke the thing, pressing it down. Now, seriously? Hey, it worked. What a lucky guess. What the heck? When the button is down, the door is up. And when the button is up, the door is down. Hmm. Oh, I think I understand now. All right, girls. I'll stand on this button and you go through. While you're chasing after those guys, I'll break through this stuff blocking the left exit. That way, I won't need to worry about kill stealing. Why don't you just put a box on the uh, fucking button? I'll see you on the other side. There we go. The fuck? Come on, cards. With the cards. Fucking goddamn it. This shit is annoying. Okay. There we go. How do I get in there? Another trap, really? Can't see any clear way out either. This puzzle may be the key, but we can't reach it. What's the point of a trap if I can't be escaped from amateurs? Man, that's... That took a lot longer than I thought. Hey, didn't think I was going to find you guys already. Uh, I never thought I'd be so glad to see that ugly mug of yours. See that puzzle? Solve it. Would you be so kindly? Uh, pu puzzle I, I don't know if I can solve this one. This one was in the exam. 
This was literally in the exam. What are you talking about? That one's almost identical to the one, one of the exam puzzles. I passed the exam by scoring max points and everything else. I didn't even beat the puzzle challenge. You what? A blind chicken could have solved those puzzles. How can a human fa fail on one of them? It's not that I failed one of them. I failed all of them. May the goddess have mercy on our souls. Jeez, don't listen to that naysayer, Luke. I've had it right up to here with people telling others what they can and can't do. I'm really bad at puzzles, though. Well, I just so happen to be great at puzzles. With my brains and your brawn, we can solve it easily. Really? In that case, we might have a shot. Come over here and help me out. This can't be good. Hurry up, you two. I have a feeling we'll soon get to see the true twist of this room. Ow. All right. He's trying so hard over there. Oh my god, this fucking moron. Are you serious? How stupid can two people be? Hey, this puzzle is like the hardest I've ever seen. No, it's so easy. You can't even imagine what kind of puzzles you've seen in your life to call this one difficult. None, okay? This is the first puzzle I've ever seen. Give me a break here. What? You just claim to be... Oh, whatever. It's over, kid. If we don't get run over or blown to pieces, we'll starve to death. Wait, I, I think I'm starting to grasp it. Just hang in there a little while longer. Fuck it on, god damn it. They got it. Is it solved? I I think it is. We did it. We're officially geniuses. We are, I mean, of course we are. You hear that, Grouchy Pouchy? Oh no, look at that. Your candy bars didn't go down. What a shame. Guess you'll have to we'll have to go on without you. Silly bag, I can fly between them. No problem. No. Someone must keep Goldilocks out of trouble. Why don't you two go and find another way in or something? Hey, that's not a dumb idea at all. All right. Team Neneva's on the job. Haha, <laughs> finally. Some good news. Let's go corner those blasted frostings, kid. Okay, I've seen this boss in the roguelike mode. Haha. <laughs> we've got one little... Uh, we've got the little buggers cornered. Let's make this quick but pain painful. Seems like I forgot the dungeon rule number six. Never taunt your opponents before you've actually beat them. Oh well. If we're going to become number one collector team, you need practice. Ta-da! Over here, behind the glass! The cavalry has arrived! Luke, smash that wicked thing! Yes, ma'am. So this boss actually has a cool mechanic with switches. Luke, bash that button, but we're beating it too fast. Sure thing. Uh, it says manual train control override. Mm, I bet those levers that appear are a safety measure. So in the actual, like, extended boss fight, you have to... Pull those levers to switch the track so that the train goes into the machine's mouth and does a bunch of damage. And that's what I call teamwork. Let's just hope Mrs. Claus, uh, don't get mad. We broke a ton of her stuff. Just blame it on the Frostlings. It's a perfect crime. Man, I don't think I've ever had this much fun on a Monday for years. Let's go find some more quests. It's not Monday, it's Tuesday. All right, Tuesday then. Wait, it actually is Tuesday. Wait, Tuesday? How am I supposed to meet... I was supposed to meet Mom and Harry an hour ago. Well... Let's just team up again some other day, okay? I got a bolt. See you around. Ah, uh, Luke is so cute. But I'm glad to be back with my real team, too. Let's go give Miss Claus the good news. Oh, 
All right. Can I fight those presents, though? How do I get the... the... I can. So I can get the present card. That's good to know. <clears throat> Well, well, I'll be damned. The kid really went and did it. Of course we did. We're heroes after all. Yes, yes, very impressive. Here's the uh, essence of spring I promised. Honey? We went through all this for some honey? You silly bag, you. What did you think it was? Everyone knows that honey is the essence of spring, and everyone knows that you can just buy honey for next to nothing in town. What? No way, but Mrs. Claus said... What are y'all staring at me for? Ain't my fault that you guys went and made a dumb deal. Blame the market economy. I'd rather blame the Fae, but I've run out of sarcasm. Let's go back. Get those trees out of the way. Okay. So what's the deal with the Frostling? Hmm. Well, they said it was like, whoa, whoa, random leg. What the fuck? I thought they said it was east of that place. Did they not? Hmm. Have I been in this cave? Hmm. Uh, I don't know what the frost thing they wanted me to defeat was. Have I gotten anything unlocked? I have not. Hmm. Hello, Santa. East of my toy factory. I saw him disappear among the trees. East of my toy factory. Okay. Ow. Okay, where, where is it? East of the Toy Factory. Hello? Oh! Was that it? Ooh, a butterfly. Well, goodbye, butterfly. Wait, what is this? Oh, is that to get a present? Hang on a second. There we go. We got a new present pet. Okay, let's go back to good old Santa. Good old Santa. All right, what's up, dude? Oh, you have my presence. I hope you taught that naughty Frostling a good lesson. As for you, you're now on my nice list. Here, take this as an early Christmas present. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Wait, you have another quest for me. 
Why all this business with the frosting has made me uh, have a craving for some good old cookies. I can get my one myself, but my back still isn't playing nice. That'd be the jolliest sand in the world if you could just hurry over to Muffin and get me a freshly baked cookie. Don't worry about the money. Just ask Muffin to put it on my tab. All this robbery business has made Santa uh, craving for a treat, but his back is still hurting. He's asking you to visit Muffin, the baker boy in season, and get something to eat. Apparently, Santa and Muffin are very good friends, so you won't have to worry about the money. Okay, where was Muffin? Hang on a second. Sorry, there's just the leads here, so I want the higher chance of getting a chest. I mean, getting a, a, a card. Okay, no card. There we go. Ah, customer. Hmm, you want a gingerbread cookie for Santa? Put it on his bill, eh? I have a very special cookie for him right here. Please give it him my regards. All right, what's up, Santa? Oh, just the kind of cookie that's been on my wish list all day. Not a moment to lose. The fuck? Oh, what kind of Halloween cookie was that? I'd be a little split. Where did the rest of me go? <laughs> I gotta give it to that muffin kid. His pastries are great for weight loss. But wait, does that mean that there are six of the old fool now? Oh my. Why, why would a young muffin do such a naughty thing to me? I'm Santa Claus. You've got to go back there and ask him to, uh, to fix this. How am I going to deliver presents in this shape? Okay. We will deal with that next time. For now, we're going to call it here. So, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care, guys. Mwah.